Secure blind cords in bedrooms. Blinds are great for the bedroom, because it will allow you to easily block out much light during weekend mornings when you need more sleep. Blinds, however, usually have very long cords that can easily get tangled. Not only is it a hassle to untangle the cords once the cords have gotten tangled together, but the cords can also be choking hazards for small children. If you have pets, they may also try to gnaw on the card that hangs from the window. Here's how you can easily secure the blind cords. Line Start by creating a line on the wall which is parallel to the line, which the blind cord makes when it falls straight from the top to the bottom. This vertical line should be made using a pencil. Use a large ruler or a T-square to create the perfect line. Make sure that you do not press the pencil too hard onto the wall, so that it will be easier for you to remove your marks later on. The line should be approximately 5 inches away from the actual blinds. Tie up fixture. Next you will need to purchase some tie-up fixtures. These fixtures are usually found in any hardware shop. These allow you to tie something into the prongs on the fixture, and are perfect for holding and securing the blind cords in your room. The fixture should be screwed along the line that you have just drawn. It should be at the same height as the bottom of the cord. Screw. Now, all you need is to screw the fixture in place. Use a screw gun to easily do this. If you are afraid to do damage to your wall, however, you can purchase special fixtures that can be attached to the wall using adhesives. Keep in mind, however, that these special fixtures are usually not as sturdy as the screwed on fixtures. If necessary, Try using super glue in order to reinforce the glue that comes with the fixtures. Erase. After installing the fixtures, you can proceed to removing the marks of the vertical line that you have added using the pencil. Just use a large block of eraser to remove all the traces of the pencil on the wall. If necessary, take some warm water and soap and use it to scrub the line from the wall, if your wall has texture that makes it difficult for a regular eraser to get into the crevices in the wall. Use. Now that you have installed the fixture, you can use it by tying the blind cords into the fixture after you have adjusted the blinds. Or, you can also loop the cords in the fixture, so that you can adjust the blinds without having to keep on tying and retying the cord to the fixture. With these easy steps, you should be able to easily secure the cords in your blinds to the wall and keep it from tripping you over or from becoming a choking hazard for your pets or small children.